Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are going to be using some new to me Chanel products. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. This just arrived in the mail. Look how beautiful the ribbon is on the box this time. I usually just get the regular box, but I don't know if it's a leftover holiday packaging, but really beautiful. So I did pick up a blush. I don't know if you noticed, but I thought I'd try this in the front of my face because the concealer I used was just a little bit light. This one right here. So I wanted to bring some color back. Right now it's not really bringing about texture like it has before, so I don't know. It worked today. I do like how it balanced out that concealer though because that concealer is just a hair too light with the product that I used with it, the um, this foundation. It's a little bit warm for that. We're gonna go in with this color right here, just kind of all over the lid. It's the lightest color. See what that looks like on. Really beautiful, again, sheer wash of color. That's kind of my thing right now, <laughs> sheer wash of color. I just think it does look so fresh right now. And maybe again, that's because it's different than a lot of the other palettes that I have, um, the sheer wash of color idea. I'm going to take this color right here and put that on the eyelid. Just the slightest shift in color here. It's just a little bit cooler. Nothing so shimmery though. So um, the other products I've been using recently, this is not shimmery, this is more of a satin. Really pretty. So if you're liking that sheer wash of color like me, you might like, actually I think this is the first Tisse palette that I've owned. So now <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick up the other ones. I'm gonna bring it above my crease just slightly here um, just to kind of build a little bit of depth. In fact, let me take it a little bit further up as well. Let's take this color right now and we'll go in the crease with that. Really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and add this color right here in that outer corner. That's gonna make the biggest difference. Um, and yes, you get color payoff quickly with this one, so I'm gonna be careful because that's gonna be a lot at one time. Yeah, just this, I just put my brush in there really lightly, so out of all of the colors, this one is probably the one I have to be most careful with, but it seems to be blending nicely as well. Yeah, that little bit put on that much. <laughs> I just went ahead and finished out the other side. This gray color is a little bit tricky to blend out though. So the other three were really easy because you didn't get a lot of pigment right away. But this gray one, you got it right away. I did have to blend in a little bit of these two shades to soften it. And then over here, it usually will catch. So it's not as smooth as the first three colors that went on. So just be careful with that color uh, because it's a bit trickier to use. But I did want to just let you know I tight line. Then I went in with the Ilia Mascara just for a very light coat so you could see a more natural look if that's what you want. Let's go ahead and take this lightest color here and put that in the inner corner just so we can see how that brightens up the eye area. I thought we could do that together. And I haven't put any shadow underneath just yet. One thing I thought we could do is just add a little bit 
of this shade right here and see how it shows up or if it does show up right under the lash line. So we're just going underneath with this color and it seems to neutralize a little bit, which is kind of nice. It's not really showing up as a color though. It is just canceling out some of that redness. Okay, I'm going to go in with this deeper, it's not that much deeper, but a little bit deeper gray and see how that shows up as well. I'm gonna soften that just because it is so light. We're gonna leave it here and just continue with blush and lipstick and then we'll build some more. Yeah, just keeping it really nice and soft to begin with. <laughs> and then let's go in with a blush. This is a one in Rose Patel and it didn't look like it had as much shimmer as some of the other ones, so we're gonna try it. See how it goes. Pretty, there is a sheen to this one. Not so shimmery though. I think I can go a little bit more with the blush because the eye is so soft, I think. I think that's a really pretty neutral shade. Although <laughs> I have to say, I don't think I've tried a Chanel blush I don't like. Let's go in with the lip. This is Intense Caramel that many of you recommended and it looks so pretty. This reminds me a little bit of 62 in the new Lip Lux. So if you like a very minimal eye, I think this is the way to go. I think I actually could have skipped this one. So if you want something minimal, I just go with the first three shades because again, that fourth shade really uh, made it more work for me to blend it in. Let's go ahead and intensify a little bit more. I'm gonna take this gray color right here and just go above the lashes as if it were an eyeliner. So I'm gonna use it as an eyeliner right here on the outer third. I'm gonna push it in and then bring it up. We're gonna make a bit of a wing out of this powder. And also put the gray under the bottom lash line, just on the outer third or so. Just be careful with this because it does have some fallout of the gray. This trusty It Cosmetics brush that I just recently found in my brushes just to help soften that. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of the Chantecaille mascara right on the bottom lashes. So I think that right there is really beautiful. I don't know if I need to do anything more, maybe one more coat of mascara, but let me even out the other side. Let's talk about the items. This palette I think is beautiful. I loved the first three shades. If you want that intensity, you will get it with that gray color. Just be careful because there was some fallout here with this. Also a little bit harder to blend because you do get a lot of pigment really quickly. So to be safe, I would just use mainly these really um, for a look. I thought these three were so pretty. They do come off in general as more powdery though. So you will see some of that powderiness when you put your brush on the colors. But I think that they blended really beautifully the first three. Again, it's nice to have that deeper shade because I did use it as an eyeliner, but it was a little bit harder to work with. But if you do love these neutral palettes, you'll probably love this one too. Next up with the blush, I think it's so pretty. It has a brightness about it while still being neutral for me and then not having as much shimmer. So it's not like 68 where there's hardly any shimmer in there, but it's got a beautiful sheen to it. So again, have not met a Chanel blush I don't like yet. <laughs> this lip color in Intense Caramel is so pretty. I think it's much prettier in person than it looks online, but it reminded me of a few other colors that I have. So if you have these colors and you're wondering what the difference is, it reminds me of Tender Beige as well as Timeless Beige. Most recently it reminds me of the Rouge Allure Lac lipstick in number 62. So you'll get to see those all side by side. This might be my number two now next to, and I still love Endless Pink, but I think this might be number two next to that now. So let me know if you have these, what you think of them. Again, thank you for the excellent recommendation on Intense Caramel. So it is my plan to purchase one quad or actually one eyeshadow palette because I did see something go by that wasn't exactly a quad, a blush and a lip specifically a liquid lipstick because I love this formula so much. And let me know what you would recommend to pick up for the next eye, blush, and lip for the next month. 
But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. So I got a sample of, the, of one of the Rouge Coco. Okay. Anyway, so it dropped back there, so we won't look at that. <laughs>